Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get the updates. Ready to set for today's video, the beer's courtesy hot butcher for the world. Thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate it, obviously. Uh, so is the glass, full disclosure. Uh, so this is Meet the Mosaics, and it's a single hop. It's just Mosaic Hopped India Pale Ale, 6.5% ABV. Uh, as always, I absolutely love the can art that Dan Jetsa did. Um, you, you know, you have a name, Meet the Mosaics. Uh, obviously the hop, but then they're, they're, you know, it's like a family. Well, it's a uh, couple. And then it looks like a mosaic, like the art style. Yeah, big fan of that. Uh, Happy New Year. This is, because this was packaged right after, uh, uh, this was uh, January 3rd, so right after the New Year. Uh, I'm reviewing this. What is today's day? Early February. It's like a month old, short version. Uh, let's get into it. Not reading the tasting notes yet. Yeah, really excited. I got this one and then another one of their single hops. And I, I, th I just think it's really cool and I'm excited to kind of see, you know, what, you know, like them focusing on one hop and what that uh, kicks out. So it definitely looks, oh, this is going to do that the whole time and bother me. Um, that's thick. I mean, that's, that's definitely, I was thinking with a little bit lower ABV than they're like seven and a half percent. You know, they do a lot of seven and a half percent. So I was kind of thinking it might be a little, um, less full looking but that is not the case this is a, a deep thick orange color um about three quarters of a finger off white head it's like white with a little bit of yellow mixed in which kind of makes sense super compact bubbles and then they start breaking up uh into you know just small medium sized ones definitely looks like you know new england style ipa just beautiful beer absolutely beautiful let's get into the aroma So like mosaic, as we know, can kick out berries, but I'm getting a real nice like soft orange juice. Nondescript tropical. Of all berries, blackberry, which I almost always uh, uh, think blueberry. If I get any berry out of mosaic, I think blueberry, but I actually kind of get like this blackberry thing. But yeah, it's got this just this nice orange, a little different than how Citra kicks out orange for me, but it's definitely orange. Man, there's, yeah, like this, yeah, because it's not pineapple or like, you know, mango or like some of these, well, actually, a little bit of mango, but you know, that's it, why I gotta say nondescript, sweet, tropical fruit. It smells really good. It's getting to the taste. Cheers. Thanks again, Hot Butcher. Great level of bitterness, nice mouthfeel. You do get that orange, but it is a little different than how Citra kicks out orange for me. That's pretty cool. Um, the mango, like pulverized, like you know, pretty ripe mango in a smoothie. Like you, you pulsated it with some orange juice. Really spot on, actually, for for this taste. Second sip, or is that third sip? <laughs> um, a little bit of a citric acid and a little bit more of like orange zest. You still get the orange juice. You still get that mango thing. But um, the, like, yeah, the acidity of the orange. So that citric acid, a little bit of the zest also. Um, that berry thing, not getting much of that in the taste. Kind of like an orange fruit roll-up, if that even exists. I'm surprised how much orange I get out of this. A little lemon-lime, too. Yeah, lemon-lime. Not getting grapefruit, though. Of course, I say that, then in the finish, I kind of get like a grapefruit, pithy zestiness. I just, I love the level of bitterness in this. 6.5 India Pale Ale. Yeah, it definitely drinks like a like an IPA. It's just got there is sweetness. Don't get me wrong, but like the, between the zest and the bitterness, it just it like for sure drinks like a beer. But then it has some of that juicy quality you want in this style. Um, so they're saying dank berries. Yeah, like I said, I mean the aroma got a little bit of like that blackberry thing. Dank. Mm, I kind of. Mm, let's what else they say. Pink cotton candy. 
fresh tropical. So we're on the same page with that tropical. The cotton candy, well, okay, let's go back to dank berries. Like I said, I, mean, I didn't really get much berry on the taste, but whispers of dank? Yeah, yeah. I said bitterness, and I stand behind bitterness, but there's like a dankiness tied to that bitterness, and I'm, I'm, if I'm being honest, I'm kind of kicking myself. I didn't say a little bit of dank. Now, this one, pink cotton candy, that is interesting. That is really interesting. Those red ices, was that raspberry, like artificial raspberry? I think we're describing the same taste differently. I would not have said the pink cotton candy, but that kind of got me to, and again, I think it's like that, cit, like what I'm saying citric acid is part of it because there is like a little bit of acidity with the sweetness in those ices. Um, because I think they're like soda based, right? Like they're just, that's what they are. It kind of has that like acidic kick to it. Um, this is really good. If I forgot to say that, yeah, this is super tasty. <laughs> this is really good. Um, yeah, mosaic can do that berry thing in some ways. Isn't mosaic like some people consider like an amped up citra? Uh, but I, I did that definitely noticed some differences, which was cool to do. But yeah, delicious beer. I'm glad it's a little, little lower ABV. I'm glad it has that. Um, you know, bitterness to it. Drinks like a beer. I, I got some chili cooking on the stove right now, and I, I wanted a nice beer to, to drink while I ate some chili and cornbread, and uh, this is that beer, and I'm really stoked about that. So yeah, uh, have you had this beer before? Have you had a Mosaic Forward beer or a, a single hopped Mosaic beer lately or ever, and you remember it and you want to tell me about it? Comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews at both of those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.